you think of a pencil and you're pulling it like this, it blows out that backside. Watch your noodle. All right. How far down are we going? Oh, we'll end up going down to the road and walking up the road. Yeah, so this guy and those little guys are, is what's going and probably that little guy right there. What about the boulder? This guy's probably gonna hit the boulder. Oh, yeah, it looks like it. Let's just send it down the hill, but then we're brushing ourselves up uh, on the lower trees, which makes no sense. So we'll quarter this and then we don't have to hike down and up because what you should do is start at the bottom, work your way up. Mm -hmm. It's only a couple of trees, so. We're kind of jippoing it. Well, this thing is ugly. We're gonna make some damage with this. And it this, might blow apart. This is it? Well, we're taking this one. And then we probably won't have to fall that one because it'll just blow right through it. <laughs> You're right. So what we'll do here is create a top cut. So a lot of time you see us doing Humboldt cuts. That's when you come up from the bottom. That gives a clean stump on the tree and makes it marketable. So I don't have to recut the bottom if I do it well. What happens when you do a Humboldt cut is the, the butt jumps off first and then hits the ground first and then the top lays in. You have a little bit less control, but it is pretty consistent. When you do a top cut, you'll watch the top hit the ground before the butt does. So that's a little bit of the difference there. There's quite a few other cuts, but what I'm going to show you here is a top cut. How do you get the, the hinge to hold when so much weight is already leaning down the hill? Is that is it at risk for, for pulling through it? Yes. And knowing what kind of wood and how that wood reacts is a big part of the battle. So are we going to want just like a wider hinge or a taller hinge? Well, on or? this, you have so much weight down in the hill, it's not going to matter. I'm not going to be able to cut fast enough to keep up with the hinge going, but the hinge will still control it to a certain thing. Okay. Like this is leaning out far enough. So where if I faced it over here, it would bre break off prematurely, but we're going with the lean, so we get a little bit more play. Got it. <laughs> no, maple is not as known for barber chairing, but all hardwoods are at risk for it more than conifers are. But even conifers have been known to barber chair time and again, just a lot less often. Okay. This amount of weight and what is that about a third of the tree it's closer to a quarter so when you have more weight in here you have more likely so if there's any fractures in the fibers of the trees itself you will actually have a bind on your face hmm. so when you have this much weight hanging out over especially with the hardwood you do a narrower face so we're only in about a quarter here and uh, that's plenty fine so you see that top cut looks a little different where the Humboldt comes in from the bottom this comes in from the top yeah you know, little etchings all as well. What will happen is that hinge that's lateral here will break when this touches this, but by that time, the momentum of the top's gonna hold it over itself. We're on a Humboldt, it breaks off a lot sooner because that angle is less steep. Safety question, so you're taking out about a quarter of the trunk and with a lot of weight hanging over the cut, do they ever break off before you have a chance to even uh, do your back cut? No, no, worst of what will happen is when you're coming in on your flat cut on your face and you go too far, your bar gets pinched. Mm. And then sometimes when you have a lot of preloading and you do get your face out, as soon as you touch the back, they can explode. Got it. Because mm. all that preloading, all that tension is yeah. on the back side more than the front side. If you think of a pencil and you're pulling it like this, it blows out that back side. 
this tree's gonna go through here. It's gonna break down a lot of the scrub brush. It's not that safe, so I need you to stay back and I need you to stay away. After we get this guy down, we're gonna jump up to that next maple that's obscuring the view. And then once we get that down, we'll jump out to the road, kitty corner up there. That's the game plan. A key thing to remember is a lot of guys, if it starts to split up the center, which is called a barber chair, especially on these hardwoods, especially on these hardwoods, it starts to split up the center. A lot of people will take their saw out and try to run and it makes the barber chair worse. If you stay with it and you cut through the barber chair, it won't do it on you. Yeah, I remember you telling the other timber faller mm -hmm. to stab at the heartwood as that Douglas fir was falling. Yeah. Watch your noodle. All right. 